Good afternoon, everyone. This is Kosala, also known as Marventus. And yes, my computer is sort of back. I hope. I'm saying that tentatively. I haven't actually replaced my computer yet, but my laptop has cooled down enough to be able to run replays. I think, I think, we're about to find out. So, uh, in order to celebrate my, my comeback slightly sooner than I had anticipated, I've got this replay I've been saving for a while, because it's just you know, completely bizarre, really. It is totally and utterly bizarre, and I thought I would share this with you because this is the kind of absolutely crazy shit that only happens in the Bronze League. Here in the top middle, we've got ourselves, myself, the Red Zerg as Marventus here, top middle in the top, uh, in the top, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to call that the top top. We have Mr. No Mouth. Now, Mr. No Mouth, as it turns out, really has a very big mouth, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Mr. No Mouth playing as the Blue Terran. So here I am, scouting away with my Overlord. I'm coming in, I'm, I'm popping around, I see, ah, excellent, close positions, what shall I do? I'm going to get in there with an early pool, I'm going to go harass a little bit, I'm going to have some fun with this shit, that's what I'm thinking right now. Alright, so so that's Aces, that's excellent, everything here looks more or less as it should be, there, there are some, some uh, supply depots coming down here, and I'm thinking, well, that's, that's, a, that's an odd sort of place to have supply depots. Alright, and then here suddenly a barracks goes down, and I'm thinking, well, hello, what is? Where's the wall? Why? There was no wall that I could see. Or uh, I certainly shouldn't be one if there's a barracks here and supply depots there, so I thought, well, this is odd. In the meantime, here I am, busily getting my first gas. My pool goes up at, at 12 supply, as I generally do these days. Uh, droning uh, away, as indeed I should. Uh, Overlord still parked over here, looking at this uh, shenanigans as it happens. Nothing weird, uh, per se, going on on the side of our Terran. He's got his, his, his uh, SCVs that are doing their thing. He's got two barracks now, and neither of them are anywhere close to his ramp. So I thought, well, well, this is surely quite odd. So I went poking around over here to see what was at his ramp. Uh, because I figured that at this point, any idiot in the world should know by now that he should be walling off against a Zerg. But hey, I was mistaken. There was absolutely no wall whatsoever. Uh, and the moment I spied that, I thought, excellent. I can put an end to this game in a really big hurry. My spawning pool is just getting done. Three and a half minutes into the game, I immediately poop out Queen, and I'm planning on, on, on coming in with a whole bunch of Zerglings to end this game nice and quickly and take the day. Uh, our Terran player, Mr. No Mouth. No Mouth has uh, popped up two barracks. His third barracks going up here. He has not got a single unit, and he has a fourth barracks going up here. He's investing all of his minerals in building buildings. He's got absolutely no barracks whatsoever. Uh, no, no marines, rather. So my queen is now popped out. Four zerglings are on the way, and we know where these zerglings are headed. Obviously, they're going straight in there with absolutely no defense whatsoever. No wall, no marines. This looks like uh, easy pickings. I'm popping up a bane lynx nest anyway, just to be on the safe side. And here are my lings. Four of them are now all done, ready to roam in and have some fun. So they should be heading there any second now. In the meantime, I'm getting my metabolic boost as well. And now there are five barracks in play. Five barracks, my friends. A sixth barrack going down. Notice there is not a single unit of any kind. We're looking at units. I've got absolutely no marines at all. There's just SCVs. And I've got 16 drones, 4 links, and a bunch of links yet to come out on the way. And so, and finally now there's one thing coming up at the barracks. This is absolutely, utterly incredible. Uh, I'm grabbing my links, I'm heading out because I'm thinking, dear God, this is some weird shit. So he's actually got, how many we got here? We've got 6, six barracks, 7 barracks, but no marines. So investing all of his mi my minerals currently in creating vast amounts of barracks. Now, where in the world would you ever see anything like this? This is just mind-boggling. The real critical question is why or why didn't he stick the first couple of barracks here in the, in the base? I do not know. And then he lifts up that one, and all of this is just looking totally weird. And my overlord is standing around here wondering, what the hell is going on? Because surely this is weird. There are no marines of any kind. There's just barracks. It's a Terran who's building a very, very large amount of barracks. So while I'm pushing out here with my lings, I've also uh, gotten my, my expansion here. I noticed this is actually quite a late push considering what I saw because I was just confused. I was standing there looking at this going, what on earth is this? Alright, so we have a bunch of links coming in and poking out because I could have run in here at any time and I didn't because I was just sitting there dumbfounded trying to figure out what the hell was going on. 
But here I am poking at this base now anyway, and this barracks looks like it's on, on, a, on a fast track to disappearing. And in the meantime, there are no marines whatsoever. There are also no marines building at this time either. There's just SCVs, and then there are barracks. And he lifts the barrack, another brilliant maneuver, sending in all of my links directly into the base. So any second now, there are going to be no SCVs. And what is he doing? He's building another barracks. There are no less than nine barracks on the right here, on the, on the, on the field right now. And that was a tenth barracks being put down. It's just completely crazy. And I've got links hammering at everything he's got, and I'm still bewildered. I've got ten links building here as well. But he has nine barracks, no marines, no SCVs. Now, you think you're confused at this point, but this is where the fun happens. Because Mr. No Mouth gets mouthy. He starts pummeling out racks on, racks on, racks on, racks. Got a racks on, racks on, racks on, nax. What the hell does that mean? And then he picks up his racks and he starts flying around with them. Now, if anybody could possibly figure out what the hell this guy is going on about, I would love to hear it. Because you notice the fun here is that he hasn't actually GG'd. He's got absolutely no money. He's got no marines. He's got nine Raxes. And he's flying them around the place. And he still thinks he's going to clear this game up without a command center. So he keeps yelling racks on, racks on, racks, and he's flying his raxes around the place with absolutely no chance of winning at all, and he still hasn't GG'd. I'm gonna be quiet now and let you guys sift through that for a second. Didn't work, he says. Check out this genius at play. We have a strategic genius on our hands. He's got Raxes flying everywhere, so he thinks the game is cool. It did not work, he yells out, Mr. No Mouth. He thinks he's on top of his game. He's got Raxes on every corner of the map. And if you didn't know it before, this, my friends, is how Terran is supposed to win. You build large amounts of Rax and you fry them all over the map. It's a genial maneuver. It's so in-depth that I can't figure it out. And if any of you can, by all means, point out that out in the comments below because I am confused. I was confused playing the game. I'm confused watching the game. And I've got absolutely no idea why this guy thinks this is a good thing. It is just completely and utterly hilarious. But even more hilarious is the fact that the dude actually did GG out of this. So I am now forced to spend time trying to create mutalisks in order to kill the flying battalion of Raxors. There we have it, everyone. Raxors, the hidden flying barracks method of winning StarCraft. It rules. Had a bit of a freeze over here. What's going on? Oh, that's right. He left the game. I just got confused there myself because the game just suddenly stopped. So I didn't actually wind up meeting the Pierre Mutalist. Thank goodness. I was about to be my boggled about that. He actually left the game. So let's take a look at this. We've got one over here. We've got two over here. We have a third one here, fourth one there, fifth one there, sixth one there. So you've got six racks remaining out of his initial nine. No units, no SCVs, no command center, and he thought everything was pretty damn excellent. I don't know what to say about this. Comment below, make, you know, if I've missed something obvious here, by all means point it out because I am completely befuddled. Thank you for watching all. More to come in the days ahead. Have a lovely day.